Welcome to the Synthesize Data Ops platform. I want to take you on a quick demo of some of our key capabilities. What I'm seeing here is our SaaS version of the platform. The first step is to bring data into the platform. I can do this by uploading a tabular file, or we provide a range of connectivity to virtually any relational data store on the planet. Things like Oracle, Snowflake, MongoDB, you name it, we've probably got it. We also provide a number of publicly available data sets useful for experimentation. I'm gonna choose one of these uh, for the rest of the demo. And I'm, what I'm gonna do is work with this credit scoring data set available from Kaggle. If I click create, I'm asking the platform to create a new data project. And this is my view into the data project. So I'm seeing here the credit scoring table and I'm seeing all of the different columns that make up this table. We're calculating some initial statistical measures, and I'm also seeing a small sample of the data set itself. If I wish, I could ask the platform to identify any biases within this data, and that's very powerful when fairness of data is on the agenda. Let me set that process off. What I've asked the platform to do here is to go learn the patterns, distributions, everything about the original data set to create an AI model, which will then be used to synthesize or generate completely new data points. So it typically takes just a few minutes for this model to be created. And what I'm seeing on the screen is the model getting better over time. So the blue color represents the original data. The green represents new data points that the model is trying to use to improve the accuracy of what it's trying to generate. Uh, typically, as I say, it takes just a few minutes for that process. But let me skip forward to a project I've already created, the Model 4. The next step is to generate new synthesized data. First question is, how much data do I want? I can see there were 10,000 rows in the original data set. Perhaps it's a testing use case, and I want a lot more data, so it double the size. Do I want any original data? If I say no, I'm telling the platform, don't bring anything from the original data set into the new one. This is very important for data privacy, data security. The platform can impute missing values, meaning for any blanks, if I wish, I can ask the platform to intelligently estimate and provide a new data point, useful when robustness of data is key for say data science purposes. If I wish, I could ask the platform to mitigate or remove any biases it detected. I'm skipping that for now. The last thing when I'm going to create new data sets is what we call data rebalancing. What I can do is change the shape of the new data I want to create. And we make this very easy. It's actually very complex under the hood. Once I've got everything set, I set off the new synthesis process to generate a new data product. This typically happens very quickly. And what we should see is the platform saying, ding, it's ready. There we go. Now, once the new data set's ready, I can click to the output. I see a small sample of the data set. And we also provide some reports to look at both utility in terms of the correlation of the new data points we generated. We also provide a modeling report, which is looking at the performance of the new data itself. So we provide a number of models with the platform to allow you to look at the performance of the new synthesized data set. Now, once we've got the new synthesized data products ready, next step might be to share and collaborate with external partners. We do this with data clean rooms, and these are pristine, isolated environments, purpose-built for sharing and data collaboration. That's the end of the tour. Thank you for your time.